Hi everybody, this is Stephanie from Razzle Dazzle Rabbitry and Yarns LLC. Today's video is how to hand harvest and feed rabbits fresh hay or fresh grass. And we'll explain a bit about why we do this as well as how we do this. So the first thing we need to know is the tools. We use just a simple pair of scissors, a simple pair of gloves, as well as a garden cart. And the field that we harvest the grasses from looks like this. We take our little cart and we go into the field. We pick a section that has quite a bit of nice healthy grass that's growing and we simply start cutting handfuls and bunches of the grass. We cut as much grass as will last the rabbits a day to keep it fresh. We don't want it to be molding in their cage and that way um, it retains quite a bit of moisture in the warm summer months for the rabbits and fresh grass is quite a bit different from dried hay. So the in the process of when hay is being made it's the best thing to do is have it dry fast and under quite a bit of heat but not too much heat because in the process all the moisture is you know a significant a significant portion of moisture is being lost but also this changes the calorie content of the hay as well so the longer it takes for the hay to dry or to cure the more calories that the hay is lost which is fine if you have overweight rabbits so when you're thinking about when you're thinking about doing this, obviously you want to have chemical free areas and you want to have, you want to know and recognize the plants as plants that the rabbits can actually eat. So also there's, it's important to recognize how much protein is likely in this. So it, it varies by field, it varies by the type of grass or hay, fresh hay that you're feeding, it can be quite low, so 7% or less, and it can be quite high. It can be over 22% protein, and most people take an average of 10 to 15% protein, but for some that might be high. Other considerations include the difference between dried hay and fresh hay, fresh grass, with regards to the range of vitamins and minerals. So whenever you are feeding hay that has been dried, you can expect that many of the vitamins are actually lost compared to if you're, or lost or at lower levels compared to if you're feeding the fresh hay. So you're thinking about vitamin C, vitamin E, vitamin D, vitamin B, vitamin A, all of these things, sun exposure in the drying process actually changes and alters the vitamins. So this is just a video of what we do during the summer months and we feed this. It, it helps with cutting down expenses if you're looking down at cutting down the cost. It looks to keep our rabbits healthier. We found that they're in better moods. So feel free to like, subscribe, hit the bell, visit us at razzledazzlerabbitry.com. Thanks for watching.